All right, hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to set up your power school to sync with your Canvas. So go ahead and log in to your Power Teacher Pro. And once in your Power Teacher Pro, if you want to click grading and categories, you can see all the categories that you have so far for a specific course. And then if you want to add a category, you're going to click the plus create and category. And then you can uh, give the category a name. And you can change the, the defaults. And then you can assign this category to all of your courses at one time. Uh, so once you have your category set up, um, for this first time, you're going to need to stay logged into Power Teacher Pro and go ahead and log into Canvas. Uh, so, to access Canvas, you will go to, uh, you can go to your staff bookmarks and click on Canvas LMS. You can go to the school website and either click on student or staff and then find the Canvas link. Uh, this should uh, use your Gmail uh, to auto log you in to. Canvas. So once you're logged into Canvas, it probably will look similar to my dashboard. It will have all of your courses listed. And I went ahead and kind of fixed my courses on my dashboard so that so that it doesn't show every single course I have for the year. So if you want to change that up a little bit and so that it only shows on your dashboard. Uh, your current courses then click on the courses button and then click all courses and then you'll put a uh, put a star or highlight the star on the courses that you want to show up on your dashboard and you can change this later um, if uh, you just want to show first semester courses you can see this says S1, so all my S1 courses I have starred so that they'll show up on my dashboard. And so if second semester starts, you can come in again, unstar uh, first semester, and then star your second semester courses. You can also change the name um, of these courses. Uh, for your view so that you can distinguish what they are because um, by default it will name them uh, how they're in power school uh, along with the course number or course ID and that's how it has to be uh, to sync with power school so if you want to change this name for you click the three little dots in each course tile and then you can You can type in a name that you would like. You can also change the color of the background. And in that way, it gives it a nickname so you can easily distinguish um, what it is. Okay. So I'm going to go and click in one of my courses so I can show you how to set up your uh, categories first. Um, so what you need to do is go ahead and in that course, click Assignments. And then you're going to click the three little dots up here in the very upper right hand corner and then you're going to click import assignment groups. And then you're going to click add. And this is a, this isn't automatic so don't think that it's going to automatically import your course or your course categories. Uh, it takes it um, overnight before it will sync those. Um, that's how Canvas works with the uh, Power Teacher Pro Passback. It's not automatic. Uh, it uh, runs overnight. It runs the sync overnight. So uh, I would suggest go ahead and set up your categories in Power Teacher Pro. Come over in your courses and import those categories. And then the next day check to see that they have synced which uh, some of my categories, I've already done this uh, beforehand. And so you can see that uh, these uh, categories have already uh, sunk from 
Power Teacher Pro, and that's what that little symbol means. So that category is what is synced. So in order for assignments uh, to show up in Power Teacher Pro, um, those assignments or quizzes or whatever need to be in a category that you have synced from a Power Teacher Pro. If I put assignments or activities in this assignments category here, uh, that would not sync to my Power Teacher Pro gradebook. Um, so once again, anything that you want to sync over into Power Teacher Pro must be in a synced category. And this saves you from having to set up the assignment in Power Teacher Pro. It'll sync all that over the, the name of the assignment. And keep your the name of your assignment below 30 characters. Um, otherwise, it will not sync correctly. Okay. So um, I've set that uh, to go. So uh, tomorrow, if I add any more categories, those will show up tomorrow um, after I have um, imported them. Another thing you might want to think about doing uh, to make it easier for you is in your course menu, um, scroll down to see grade sync. And this is a log, this reporting is a log, or actually the status of your sync. So if you have any errors or anything with it syncing grades, then it's going to show you and you can click on it and see what the, the error was so you can fix it. Um, so one thing, once again, you might want to think about and turning on is in the sync tab, you want to make sure this schedule daily sync is checked and then click save. That way um, you don't have to manually uh, submit your grades, sync your grades. Uh, this does it automatically overnight. Um, so um, make sure that you do check that box. Okay. Another uh, helpful reminder is to go ahead and set up so that it does sync your uh, assignments. It sets those up to sync to your grade book. So I'm gonna click on settings in my course menu, feature options, and I'm gonna make sure this post grades to SIS is turned on. So that way it automatically, when I create an assignment, They include this assignment's grades when syncing to student information system. That's basically saying it's going to sync this grade to Power Teacher Pro. It automatically checks that box. So if, for instance, you don't want a grade to sync over to Power Teacher Pro, then you can uncheck that box. Another reminder, if you set up a new assignment group in Canvas, that will not sync that category or that assignment group over into your Power Teacher Pro. You have to do it within Power Teacher Pro and make sure that you import assignment groups like we did in the first step in order for it to sync your assignment groups. Also, if I didn't put the assignment in the correct category, um, you can move these, move your assignments around by uh, dragging and dropping. So that is how you can set up your Power Teacher Pro to sync with Canvas. And I think this will make it a whole lot more efficient for the teacher so that you can do everything in Canvas and not have to worry about doing some double entry. Uh, and then all you have to use Power Teacher Pro for is to do your attendance and also to finalize your grades when it comes report card time.